Legend has it that there is one credit card that could tell people how important you are. One card that upon taking it out, flexes harder than others. One card that rules them all. That would be pretty sweet to own, right? Well, the term the black card is known all over the world for being the number one choice for the world's 1%. In other words, it's the kind of card that the Elon Musks and the Jeff Bezoses of the world will pull out of their wallets. And while there are tons of black cards from different card companies, there is one that stands out amongst them all. One that is the most prestigious of the lot. Yes, in today's Behind the Business video, we are talking about the American Express Black Card. But before we continue, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be the first to be notified of new Behind the Business videos that we post every week. The American Express Black Card is also referred to as the Amex Black Card, or more popularly, the Centurion Card. While it might look like just your regular old credit card, the truth is that the Amex Black Card is the highest honor that can be bestowed upon you in the financial world. And no, you can't just walk into American Express and ask for a black card to be issued to you. Like most other exclusive things in the world, the black card also works on an invite-only model. And unlike most other cards in the world, there's barely any information on the kind of perks that a black card gets you. The only thing that we really know for sure is that the annual fee for the Amex black card is $5,000. And while that might sound like a lot, it's really just pocket change for all these billionaires that actually carry the card with them. The Amex card came into existence all the way back in the 1980s. Or, well, the idea of it at least. The truth is that the Amex card program was actually started because of a bunch of rumors that were floating around. According to the director of Amex Europe, Doug Smith, there was lots of chatter in the 80s about how American Express had a super secret card for the world's elite. And while it wasn't really a thing back then, Amazon decided to capitalize on the whole ordeal and actually create a black card that would only cater to the richest of the rich. The Amex card has never been listed on their website and is strictly invitation only. And that too, if you're able to meet a bunch of requirements, which are rumored to be having an income above a certain number, spending about $250,000 a year on your card, and being an Amex Platinum card holder for a year at least. The initiation fees for the black card goes up to a grand total of $10,000, and that is before you even charge anything to the card. But before you're sent an invitation, a team of highly trained professionals will conduct an extensive background check on you before you are given the green light. Once the Amex card was released in 1999, it became such a big deal that other banks and financial services started coming up with their own versions of an exclusive card with luxury benefits. But none of them really came close to the iconic black card. Not only because pulling the card out is the ultimate flex anyone can pull off, but also because of all the amazing perks that the Amex black card offers you. Now, some of these rewards are the regular old rewards you get with any card, such as the ability to collect points and then use them for purchases, traveling, dining, and whatnot. However, the more high-end rewards include things like special permissions for car rentals, access to some of the most expensive and luxurious hotels in the world, one of the most famous perks of the Amex Black Card is the private concierge service where the cardholder has the option of getting a personal concierge to handle their everyday tasks for them. This concierge basically acts as your personal assistant, helping you book hotel rooms, track your flights, arrange your trips, finalizing your reservations, and even picking up your dry cleaning. And if this isn't the one perk that makes all other cards look pretty useless in comparison, we don't know what is. Ever since the American Express Black Card came into existence, it has become a popular icon in pop culture, with rappers like Kanye West actually going ahead and singing songs about the millions they spend on their black card. But the concierge isn't where the rewards stop. After all, if the world's richest people use this card, you can definitely count on them to be taking trips all over the world. And thanks to their Amex Black Card, their traveling practically becomes free because of all the hotel benefits and air miles that come along with the black card. From room upgrades to free check-ins and private butler services, the black card will make sure that you feel like royalty at any given moment of your vacation. With your black card, you're automatically upgraded to gold status at any and all Marriott hotels in the world, along with bonus points on all your stays. Not just Marriott, but you also get to enjoy all the benefits of a Hilton Hotel Honors Diamond Class holder, which brings things like 48-hour room guarantees, priority check-ins, and free premium internet. Now, if you're going to be traveling so much, you definitely need to hop on a plane or two, right? And with the black card, you can enjoy perks like complimentary upgrades, priority waitlisting, and other benefits from a number of airlines, including Delta Airways. Other than that, when you travel in business or first class on international flights, 
you'll be greeted by a personal guide who will expedite you through customs and immigration. In a lot of cases, you will be assisted with your baggage for free. Because what is an Amex Black Card holder like you doing carrying luggage? Quite a number of select airport locations also have their own Centurion lounges where Black Card holders can enjoy high-quality food, premium wine, and an overall luxurious experience that they can't find in any other airport lounge. There are even secret bars in some of them. So as a Black Card holder, you can make sure that you are always well taken care of. If planes aren't your thing, don't worry, because Amex's travel options also offer you extensive discounts and freebies with their cruise partners, such as AMA Waterways, Regent, and much more. With tons of other rewards like access to fashion, entertainment, and sports events along with shopping freebies and gym memberships, the Black Card just keeps giving. Through the Centurion Dining Program, cardholders can reserve hard-to-book tables at more than a thousand American Express restaurant partners around the world. Amex also regularly sends their black card holders expensive gifts every now and then, which is yet another perk that makes the whole experience worth it. These gifts range from Sophia Cashmere travel sets to Tom Ford card cases and bottles of expensive wines. It has been about 21 years since the card was launched, and with time, the kind of luxurious experiences that it offers holders are only increasing. Some special black cards even come with private jet services, which explains exactly why this card is solely reserved for people with specific kinds of lifestyles, where they have tons of money to spend on travels, shopping, and entertainment, so they can keep raking in points and benefiting off of all the perks that the black card comes with. But at the end of the day, is it all really worth it? After all, if you're spending about $15,000 just to open an account with the black card, you'd be better getting your money's worth at least. According to sources, all that we know publicly about this card isn't even half of what it comes with. The card's access is extremely exclusive and limited to only the biggest players in the game. Even people like Beyonce, Oprah Winfrey, and Jerry Seinfeld swear by the card, so there's definitely something special about it. There are currently only 20,000 Amex Black Card holders in the whole world, and even talking about the card out in public is apparently a no-go. That's how exclusive and secret it is. So, if we're being honest, none of us can say whether the card is worth it or not simply because it's meant to cater to the uber wealthy. But considering all that we do know about this one-of-a-kind card, it's safe to say that it definitely stands out from all the other cards out there, offering holders a premium experience in every sense of the word. What do you think of the Amex Black Card? Is it really worth that $10,000 initiation fee? And if invited, would you get one? Do let us know down in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be the first to be notified of new behind the business videos we post every week. Be inspired and we will see you in the next one. Since you made it all the way to this point, here are two more videos that we know you are going to love. Go on, click on it, you know you want to.